Mops. <coughs> we start with Trikonasan. So spread your legs out. Bring the hands at the shoulder level. And then bend towards the right side. Left hand will be on the right toe. Right hand straight up. Look at your right thumb. Then come up. And then bend towards the left side. Right hand on the left foot. Left hand straight up. Look up. Come back. And now increase the speed. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five, five, stop and relax. <coughs> now keep the legs spread out. Turn the right foot toward the right side. Keep the hands by the side of the body. And <coughs> slowly bend at your knees. Slide your right hand down toward the right foot. Take the left hand up over the head and then straight out look straight in front of you stretch as much as possible and then slowly come back <clears throat> now turn the left foot toward the left side <clears throat> bend your left leg at the knees slide your left hand down toward the left foot Look straight in front of you, then slowly come back. Wait for some time, and then second round. Now, just try this. When you come down, and you take your hands up, your hand which is up and the leg should be possibly in one straight line. So see if you can adjust it accordingly, and then come back. Start. Very good. Slowly come back. And then to the other side. And then relax. <coughs> we'll then practice some of the asanas of Shankar Prakshalan. So before that we'll practice this. Keep both the hands crossed against each other, one wrist on top of the other. And then <clears throat> breathe out completely. As you breathe in, raise the hands in that same interlaced position. Hold your breath. As you breathe out, spread the hands by the side. Hold your breath. As you breathe in, raise the hands, cross them once again. Hold your breath. As you breathe out, bring your hands down slowly. <coughs> we'll try and chant Lakshmi Mantra. So it'll be very easy to chant rather than the, the one which I taught you last time. So Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha. So cross the hands, breathe out completely, <coughs> keep chanting Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha. Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Hold Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Breathe out Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Hold Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Breathe in Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Hold Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Breathe out Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Namaha Now in the last round you will try a variation I will first show you and then you practice You will breathing in bring your hands up Continue to breathe in when you spread the hands out And in this position you hold your breath and then breathing out, you raise your hands up. Continue to breathe out when you're bringing the hands down. Okay? So start. Get ready. 
Breathing in, raise the hands up. Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha. Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha. Continue to breathe in. Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha. Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha. Hold. Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha. 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 Breathe out. Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha. Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha. Continue to breathe out. Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha. Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha. And then wait. Wait for some time. Allow your breathing to become completely normal. And then we practice the Tadasan suitable for Shankar Prakshalan. So directly keep your hands on top of the head, interlaced, palms facing the sky. Breathe out completely. As you breathe in, raise your hands up, come on your toes, hold your breath. Hold your position, keep looking straight at one point to maintain your balance. And very slowly breathing out, bring your hands down to rest on your head once again. Second round, breathing in, go up. And very slowly breathing out, come back. Last round, breathing in. Breathing out, come back. And relax. Now, Tiriyak Tadasan. So raise the hands up, interlaced. Hold your position. Breathing out very slowly, right, bend to the right side. Breathing in, come back to the center. Breathing out, turn to the left side. Breathing in, come back to the center. Breathing out, turn to the right side. Breathing in, come back to the center. Breathing out, turn to the left side. Breathing in, come back to the center. Last round, breathing out, turn to the right side. Breathing in, come back to the center. Breathing out to the left side. Breathing in, come back to the center. Release your hands, sit down in yogic breathing. Has it been up to you? Get ready to chant mantra Om seven times. Make your sankalpa. I am chanting Om. Creating protective energy field around me. It keeps me protected from all external negative influences, antibodies and viruses. I am creating three layers of protection. On the outermost layer, I have six friendly creatures. An elephant behind me a peacock in front, a tiger on my right side, a lion on my left side, an eagle above my head, and a black tortoise below me. Inside of that, I have a big ring with balls of fire. I am lighting all the balls. 
allowing a firewall of protection to go up all around me. Third layer of protection <laughs> comes from the subtle energy of the mantra Om that I am chanting. <laughs> Take your awareness to Muladhara Chakra at the perineum. Keep your hands in the mudra, interlace ring finger and uh, I mean little finger and ring finger. Middle finger is stretched out. The index and the thumb will rotate around the opposite index and thumb. Keep the hand right at the bottom perineum. Take a deep breath in. Four petal lotus, red color. <clears throat> Swadhisthana Chakra, six petal lotus, orange color. Bend your thumb towards your palm. Index and middle finger will rotate around the palm. The little finger and the ring finger will be stretched out. The two sides of the index and the middle finger will touch each other. Keep your hands right in front of your sacrum. Take a deep breath in. Increase your pitch. Touch your ring finger, index finger and thumb together. The middle finger and the little finger will be stretched out. Keep the hands on either side of your navel. Ten petal lotus, yellow color, increase pitch further. Uh... Hands in a blooming lotus, the two little fingers and the thumb are touching each other, other fingers are spread out. Keep your hands in front of your heart center, 12 petal lotus, green color, increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Uh... Bend your ring finger towards your palm. The middle finger, index finger and the thumb touching together, little finger is out. Use only your right hand. Keep your hands at your eyebrow center, brew madhya. Two petal lotus, indigo color, atnya chakra, increase your pitch further. Uh... Touch the two thumb and the index finger together in a diamond form like a pyramid, one inch above your head. Thousand petal lotus, white color, Sahasrara Chakra, increase your pitch further, take a deep breath. Uh... Shanti Mantras Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvinamadhi Damastu Mavidhishavahai Om Shanti 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 Hari If you want to stretch your legs, please feel free to do so whenever you want. Keep your hands in Linga Mudra. Make your Sankalpa. I am chanting Mahamritinje Mantra for physical health and mental well-being. Chanting the Mantra every day helps me maintain the best of health mentally and physically. 
all my brain cells and body cells are operating optimally and in harmony with each other i can feel your grace my lord penetrating deep into my body energizing each and every brain cell and body cell keeping me in pristine health at all times i bow down before you thanking you from the bottom of my heart for keeping me in pristine health and i promise to put in efforts on my side for keeping my body in a healthy condition be fitting for you to reside inside my body in your effulgent form 11 times get ready om triyambakam yajamage sugandhim pushti vardhanam urvarukam iva bandhanam mrityur mukshiyam amritat om triyambakam yajamage sugandhim pushti vardhanam urvarukam iva bandhanam mrityur mukshiyam amritat Om Triyambakam Yajamage Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Iva Bandhanam Mrityur Mukshiyam Amritat Om Triyambakam Yajamage Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Iva Bandhanam Mrityur Mukshiyam Amritat Om Triyambakam Yajamage Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Iva Bandhanam Mrityur Mukshiyam Amritat Om Triyambakam Yajamage Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Iva Bandhanam Mrityur Mukshiyam Amritat Om Triyambakam Yajamage Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Iva Bandhanam Mrityur Mukshiyam Amritat Om Triyambakam Yajamage Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Iva Bandhanam Mrityur Mukshiyam Amritat Om Triyambakam Yajamage Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Iva Bandhanam Mrityur Mukshiyam Amritat Om Triyambakam Yajamage Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Iva Bandhanam Mrityur Mukshiyam Amritat Om Triyambakam Yajamage Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Iva Bandhanam Mrityur Mukshiyam Amritat Om Shanti 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 Ariyum Very slowly disengage your hands and then when you are ready keep them in ज्ञान मुद्रा मेक योर संकल्प आई एम चैंटिंग गायत्री मंत्र फॉर विजडम इनर अवेयरनेस एंड इंटूटिव नॉलेज चैंटिंग द मंत्र एवरी डे हेल्प्स मी ऑपरेट इन द हाईएस्ट प्लेन्स ऑफ विजडम डेल डीप विद इन मी सीकिंग आंसर्स टू वेरियस क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सल नॉलेज रेस्टिंग विद इन मी एंड गेट दोस आंसर्स and operate very successfully from an intuitive plane get ready 11 times <coughs> om bhur bhuvasvah tat savitur varinyam bargo divasya dimahi diyo yuna prajodayat om bhur bhuvasvah tat savitur varinyam वर्गो दिवस्य दीमहि दियो यो न प्रजोदयात ओम पूर्वस्वह तत्सवितुर्वरिण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य दीमहि दियो यो न प्रजोदयात ओम पूर्वस्वह तत्सवितुर्वरिण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य दीमहि दियो यो न प्रजोदयात 
ಭೂರ್ಭುವಸ್ವ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ವರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭಾರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಭೂರ್ಭುವಸ್ವ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ವರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭಾರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಭೂರ್ಭುವಸ್ವ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ವರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭಾರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಭೂರ್ಭುವಸ್ವ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ವರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭಾರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಭೂರ್ಭುವಸ್ವ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ವರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭಾರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಭೂರ್ಭುವಸ್ವ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ವರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭಾರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಭೂರ್ಭುವಸ್ವ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ವರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಕ್ಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಟು ಡೂ ಸೋ ಕೀಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಗ್ಯಾನ್ ಲಿಂಗ ಮುದ್ರ your thumb is projected and touching the heart center index fingers are touching together and pointed forward other three fingers are interlacing each other with the fingers bend inwards make your sankalpa i am chanting 32 names of durga for overcoming distress and for peace and harmony chanting the 32 names helps me overcome all stressful situations for i simply surrender before you as your son you carry you are carrying me through the difficulties cutting through them with your fierce sword helping me emerge successful at all times <laughs> get ready three times om durga durga tri shamani durga padmini varini durga maschedini durga sadini durga nashini ದುರ್ಗದೋತ್ತಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗ ನಿಘಾಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾಪ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಜ್ಞಾನದ ದುರ್ಗ ದೈತ್ಯಲೋಕದ ವಾನಲ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾ ಲೋಕ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾತ್ಮ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಪ್ರದ ದುರ್ಗ ಮವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಗಮಾಶಿದ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾನ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಧ್ಯಾನ ಪಾಷಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮೋಹ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಹಾ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾ ಸುರ ಸಂಹಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾಯುಧ ತಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾಂಗಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮತ ದುರ್ಗ ದುರ್ಗಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಭೀಮ ದುರ್ಗ ಭಾಮ ದುರ್ಗ ಪುರ್ಗ ತಾರಿಣಿ ಓಂ ದುರ್ಗ ದುರ್ಗಾತ್ರಿ ಶಮನಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಪದ್ಮಿನಿ ವಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಶ್ಚೇದಿನಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಸಾಧಿನಿ ದುರ್ಗ ನಾಶಿನಿ ದುರ್ಗ ದೋದಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗ ನಿಹಾಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾಪ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಜ್ಞಾನದ ದುರ್ಗ ದೈತ್ಯ ಲೋಕದ ವಾನಲ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾ ಲೋಕ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾತ್ಮ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಪ್ರದ ದುರ್ಗ ಮೀತ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾಶಿತ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾನ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಧ್ಯಾನ ಭಾಷಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮೋಹ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಹಾ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾ ಸುರ ಸಂಹಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾ ಯುಧ ತಾರಿಣಿ 
दुर्गमांगी दुर्गमता दुर्गम्या दुर्गमेश्वरी दुर्गा भीमा दुर्गा भामा दुर्गा बा दुर्गा दारिणी ओम दुर्गा दुर्गा त्रिशमनी दुर्गा पद्मिनी वारिणी दुर्गम मस्जिदिनी दुर्गा साधिनी दुर्गा नाशिनी दुर्गा दो दारिणी दुर्गा निहांत्री दुर्गा माप दुर्गा मज्ञानता दुर्गा दैत्य लोक दानला दुर्गमा दुर्गमा लोक दुर्गमात्मस्वूपिणी दुर्गा मार्ग प्रदा दुर्गम वीद्या दुर्गमाश्रिता दुर्गम ज्ञान संस्था दुर्गम ध्यान वाशिनी दुर्ग मोहा दुर्ग महा दुर्ग मात्र स्वरूपिनी दुर्गमा सुर संहंत्री दुर्गमायुधारिणी दुर्गमांगी दुर्गमता दुर्गम्या दुर्गमेश्वरी दुर्ग भीमा दुर्ग भामा दुर्ग दुर्गदारिणी ओम शांति 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 हरि गिरो वेरी स्लोली रिलीज योर मुद्रा एंड बी क्वाइट फॉर अ लिटिल वाइल फील द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द मंत्र सिंकिंग इन टू ईच एंड एवरी सेल एंड दोस वाइब्रेशन आर रेस्टोरिंग द सेल्स बैक टू देयर ओरिजिनल harmonic frequency and then we'll practice agni sar in sitting position <coughs> so keep your hands holding your knees nicely <coughs> and then you will be taking a deep breath in you will breathe out completely hold your breath outside tilt your head down chin coming closer to the chest and then you will move your abdomen forward backward forward backward as long as you can hold your breath and when you want to release then you will tilt your head up when the head is in the normal position you will breathe in <coughs> so get ready start continue till i ask you to stop after each round allow your breathing to become normal then take a deep breath in breathe out and then start don't immediately start and slowly start bringing your practice to an end and then when you have completed please lie on your back <coughs> mm. 
we'll do a short body scan. So as you lie on your back, allow your body to relax completely. Experience a sense of relaxation spreading throughout your body. And as you experience that sense of relaxation, feel the body sinking deeper into the ground as though it's forming an outline of your body on the ground. Then bring your attention to your heels and see how they are in relationship to the ground. Whatever you can make out, be aware of it. Repeat the same with your calf muscles. See how exactly they are touching the ground. Then shift attention to the back of your knees. Can you experience the back of the knees grazing the ground? Or do you feel the back of the knees is slightly raised from the ground? Whatever you can experience right now, please experience it. Then pay attention to the back of your thighs and experience the relationship between the back of the thighs and the ground. Then shift attention to both your glutes. Can you feel the glutes connected to the ground? How exactly are they pressing? Then pay attention to your spinal vertebrae. Start with your sacrum. Can you sense the sacrum? touching the ground, then try to sense your lumbar vertebrae touching the ground, start with L5, then L4, L3, L2 and L1. How many out of the five could you sense is actually touching the ground? Then repeat the same for your thoracic vertebrae, T12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now pay attention to both your shoulders. Can you feel the back of the shoulders aligned along the ground? Can you feel the pressure between them and the ground? And if you feel your shoulders are slightly raised from the ground, be aware of it. Then pay attention to your back of the head resting on the ground. Sense what is the pressure between the back of the head and the ground. Once you've scanned all these parts, become conscious and aware of your own breathing. Watch your own abdomen expand as you breathe in the diaphragm going down into the abdominal cavity. As you breathe out, feel the abdomen going closer toward the spine, pushing the diaphragm up. See how the diaphragm is pushing into the chest cavity, pushing the lungs out. Squeezing air out of the lungs. And continue this practice of awareness of your own movement of abdomen, diaphragm. And now gently give up all this awareness and slowly Move your hands at the elbow and put your hands back. Bend your legs and stretch them back. Then raise your hands over your head. Give a nice stretch to the body. And then continue to lie down. You can watch. We are going to practice all the practices today lying down. So the first practice will be just to roll your head to one side. The moment you have to pay more effort to turn the head, stop there. Only as far as it can comfortably go. Then bring the head back to the center. Turn to the other side. You will repeat this three, four times. After that, we will start the first practice where you will bend your legs 
and then you will keep your hands by the side of the body and you will take a deep breath in as you breathe out you will raise your head from the ground you are doing a flexion of your neck your chin will come closer to the chest and you will slowly go back as you are doing this be aware of the fact that gravity is acting like a load on your head apart from the neck can you feel the muscles of the lower spine acting to help you lift your head up can you feel that what happens to the sacrum is it going closer towards the ground or is it getting raised from the ground pay attention to it after you have done this three times you're going to incorporate the hip joint movements into the practice so as you breathe out lift your head up you will bring both the knees closer to each other i mean towards the chin as you breathe in and take down you will take the legs straight up very slowly bring your legs back to the ground and after they have reached the ground very slowly bend your legs back okay after this the subsequent practices i'll give instructions as you move so start first head in the center head facing towards the ceiling and very slowly rotate your head towards the right side and very slowly let your head come back to the center and then once again rotate your head to the left side and see how far you can go comfortably without putting any additional effort only go as far as that is concerned then we will start the first movement so get ready for the first movement take a deep breath in as bend your legs feet flat on the ground knees towards the ceiling take a deep breath in as you breathe out lift your head up chin closer to the chest and very slowly release your head back out of the contraction allowing your head to very slowly come back and reach the ground relax second round very slowly breathing out lift your head up and very slowly return your head back to the starting position and wait as you lift your head up feel the muscles on the front side of the neck contracting the back side lengthening last round slowly release and wait now there is one more movement before we go to the incorporating the leg which i forgot so what you are going to do is your legs are folded like this and you are going to rotate the head to the right side and then keeping the head facing the right you will lift your head up in flexion and then slowly bring your head back so once again let me show it to you from this side you will turn the head and keeping the eyes looking to the left side you will try to move your head forward lifting the head up from the ground the chin will come closer towards your shoulder blade and then release back and then come back so get ready three times right left first right left right left like that three times so start turn the head, rotate the head to the right side keeping the head rotated lift your head up bring the chin closer to the shoulder release that neck contraction and allow your head to come back slowly to rest on the ground and then rotate the head back to the center <clears throat> now very slowly breathing out rotate your head to the left side keeping the eyes looking towards the left side lift your head up and then move your chin forward closer to your shoulder blade or your chest 
release the neck contraction and then release your uh, head flexion and then allow your head to come back to rest on the ground and wait. Come back to the center and wait. When you're ready, second round, rotating to the right side. Then when you finish, come back to the center, then rotate to the left side. Come back to the center, wait for some time, then last round rotating to the right side. Come back to the center, and then slowly turn, rotate your head to the left side. Lift your head up, tilt your chin closer to the chest, release the tilt and then return your head and then rotate the head back to center and wait. Now, <clears throat> we are going to practice the rotation once again, incorporating the leg, one leg at a time. So listen to my instruction and then follow. So basically, you are going to keep both the legs bent. You will turn your head to one side and as you are lifting your head up, you will bring the left leg closer. As you are returning the head back, you will straighten the left leg, bring it down to the ground and then lower it. And then when you turn the head to the left side, lift your head up, you will straighten the uh, right leg up. I am sorry, you will bring the right leg closer. As you are releasing, you will straighten the right leg, bring it down to the floor and then bend it back. Okay? So incorporating the opposite leg. So turn the head to the right side, rotate the head to the right side. As you are lifting your head up, lift your left leg, bring the left knee closer to the chest. As you are releasing your head, straighten the left leg. And as you release your head back to the rest on the ground, bring your left leg to rest on the ground. And then bend your left leg back. And wait. So the mantra you can chant is mantra of Lakshmi. Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmiyai Swaha. Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmiyai Swaha. So start the second, I'm rotating to the left side. As you tilt your head up, bring your right knee closer to the chest. As you bring your head back to rest, straighten the leg out. And then bring your leg back to rest on the ground. Then fold your leg back. So you've completed one round. Now practice the second round. And then complete the last round.
and relax. And now you will practice what I showed you first when you lift the head, chin closer to the chest, lift both the knees, bringing them closer to the chest. As you return your head back, you will stretch both the legs out. So no rotation of the head, only neck flexion. Slowly as you bring, straighten both the legs out and then slowly return them to the floor. All the time chanting Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Swaha. Wonderful. After you finish one round, catch a couple of breaths, start the second round. Once you have completed three rounds, stretch your legs out and relax. And as you stretch your legs out and relax, make efforts to relate back to the same areas that you focused on in your body scan and notice whatever subtle, small differences you can notice. Whatever you can notice, notice them. And when you're ready, you're going to come into the next practice. You'll be back in the same position, legs bend. Now the hands are interlaced and they're kept near your thighs. And then you're going to breathe in, raise both your hands, take it as far as it can go. If you're very comfortable, your hands will touch the floor. And then very slowly bring back. And after you have completed three rounds, you are going to take only the right hand. And as you are taking the right hand up, your left hand will go straight up. And then bring your left leg down and bend it back. Okay? So as you are raising the right hand and left leg straighten up keep both of them straight like this and as your hand is going down toward the floor bring your leg also down so let me repeat the instructions once again raise your right hand and left leg and then very slowly bring both of them to the ground and then bend after you've done this three times you will interchange the hand now the left hand will be on top of the right hand and then you will take the uh, left, I'm sorry, you will take the left hand up, right leg up, and then bring both of them down, and then bring it back. Okay, start. First, both the hands, first both the hands, cross both the hands, and raise only both the hands over your head. If you're very comfortable, cross the, cross the hands. Hands are interlaced, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then very slowly return both your hands back to the starting position. Keep them crossed. Keep them crossed. Second round. Slowly release. Very good. Last round. Start. Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Swaha. 
ओम गुम श्री महालक्ष्मी स्वाहा ओम गुम श्री महालक्ष्मी स्वाहा ओम गुम श्री महालक्ष्मी स्वाहा and now at least for four counts you should take to release of so six counts om gum shrim mahalakshmi swaha 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 relax now only right hand and left leg start gum shrim mahalakshmi swaha Om Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. As your hand is coming down, the leg will also come down. So coordinate, synchronize that movement. Once again, just watch. When you raise your right hand, your left hand will go. So at this position, both are perpendicular to the ground, and then you start moving both of them together. Get ready. Start. Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. 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 No, Smita. Hand has to go behind. Yes, and the leg will also come down. Correct. And now bring the hand back. Bring the leg back to starting position. No, not like that. You just bend, you just bend the leg. From there itself, yeah, correct. Like, that. yeah, start. Next round, only the right hand up, along with the left leg, both are perpendicular to the ground. As you start moving your hand down towards the ground, allow your left leg also to come back to rest. As you're bringing your leg down, keep the leg straight. and then wait for some time and then bring bend your leg again bring your hand forward last round and when you are ready cross your hands now the left hand is on top of the right hand and as you breathe in right left hand and right leg up when both are perpendicular start moving your hand over your head towards the ground bring your leg down towards the ground you are working simultaneously on your shoulder joint your shoulder blade as well as your hip joint there are a lot of muscles coming into operation mainly the psoas muscle for your leg and the trapezius for your shoulder blade start second round as your hand starts moving down let your leg also start moving down that coordination increases your brain power the synchronization makes a lot of difference be aware of it pay full attention to it last round and relax now the next movement is a slight variation to our mitra paging practice so you will keep both the hands interlaced under your head you will take the right leg over your left and then as you start taking both your knees towards the ground you will try to raise your head up and then as you start bringing your knees back to the starting position you will move your head down 
I'll show it on the other side for the camera. So this time now I have taken the left leg over the right. And because the left is on top of the right, I'll be moving the knees towards the left side. And my head is up. And very slowly come back. Bring the head also back to rest of the ground. Unwind. And then when you complete the three rounds, you can stretch your legs out and experience what you can on your body. So start. Both the hands under the head. Right leg over the left. As you move both your legs, move your knees towards the right side, lift your head up. Very good. Uh, when the right is on top, right side. Yeah. The leg which is on top, that side. Correct. Only take your knees as far as you can comfortably take. You don't have to touch the ground. It will happen over a period of time. Allow that flexibility to improve over a period of time. After you have completed three rounds, stretch your legs out and see how your back feels. And then... Huh? No, no. Three times on same side and then on the other side. So finish three times on same side. Correct. Very good. Slowly come back. Lovely. Last round. Same side. Slowly come back. Unwind, stretch your legs and relax and see what changes you can experience within your own body. And then when you're ready, left leg on top of the right. And you'll move both the knees towards the ground on the left side. After you have done three times, when you stretch your legs out, see what changes you can notice on the back side. Do you feel the back is now lying closer to the ground? Is the back of the knees lying closer to the ground? Can you feel more vertebrae touching the ground? What can you feel? When you are ready, hmm. Then we'll go to the next practice, which is a slightly more difficult practice, but you try what you can. Now I'll show it to you from the right side first. You're going to keep both the legs straight, right hand under your head. And then you will start breathing in, bending your right leg along the floor, moving your right knee towards the you're moving your right elbow towards your right knee. And both as close to the ground as possible. And then come back. So as you start bending your knees, you will start moving your elbow forward. And then you will come back. As you're doing this, there is a slight rotation on the back side. See the left side is slightly, the buttocks is slightly coming up from the ground. 
and then slowly come back. You don't have to touch. If you cannot, that's okay. Come wherever you can. Bring the leg wherever you can comfortably and then slowly come back to the starting position. Okay? And then we'll practice on the other side. So very slowly start, right hand under your head, left, both the legs are straight and then only bend your right knee along the floor, bringing it closer to the elbow, move your elbow forward, feel the left side buttocks coming up, feel the rotation of your torso and slowly release out of that contraction and come back to the starting position and relax. Wait for a little while and then you will practice the second round. Now practice on the left side. Slowly release. Then second round. Slowly release. Last round. Slowly release. Now you're going to try and induce a restriction. So what are you going to do now? is listen to the instructions. You're going to keep the left hand under your head and and as you move your right knee, you will take the body towards the left side as much as you can comfortably take and then slowly come back. You will do this three times and then you will repeat your first move and see whether you can move a little more comfortably than what you did the first round, okay? So keep your hand, left hand under your head. As you bend your right knee along the ground, move your left elbow towards your left knee. The left leg is straight only. And then slowly return back to the starting position and wait for some time and repeat two more times. Very good. The left hand under the head, right hand by the side of the body, right hand by the side, yeah, or wherever you can keep it, and bend the right leg, uh, bend towards the left side. Correct, correct. Very good. Yeah, bend this leg, move that side. Don't raise the head up. Move the, move the head along the ground. Move the head along the ground. Correct. Slowly release. And wait for some time. After you have done three times, now repeat. Keep the right hand under the head. Repeat the first move. 
and see whether you can do it more comfortably than what you did the first round. Very good. And then you will change hands. Now the right hand is under the head. Right hand under your head. As you bend your left knee along the ground, you will move the right elbow towards the right knee. Slowly come back. Very good. Slowly come back. Very good. Second round. Right hand under the right hand under the head. Ah. And move to the right side. Okay. And then this leg is straight. That leg bend. Bend this side. Move this side. Ah. Correct. Yeah. Last round. And then repeat your move. Keeping the left hand under your head. See if your move towards the left knee is easier now. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Relax. And then when you're ready, you're going to lie on your stomach. Keep both the hands in front of your forehead and then you are going to do what is called neck extension. So you simply raise your head up and look up and then slowly come back. Remember the instructions we were giving you on Bhujangasana. First tilt your head up which is nothing but neck extension and then raise your head up further pressing on your hands in the Bhujangasana. Here no Bhujangasana. So only tilt your head up. Now, when you do head, the flexion, your front side of the neck muscles were contracting, the back side were lengthening. Now you're reversing it. Your back side of the neck is contracting, the front side of the neck is lengthening. And then slowly come back. After you finish three rounds, I'll give you the remaining instructions. All of them on that same position. Start. Breathing in as you raise your head up. Om Gumshrim Mahalakshmi Swaha three, four times. As you come back, repeat more times before you come back. Second round. Slowly return. <clears throat> now we are going to repeat what we did on the back. So when you are in this position, you turn, rotate the head like this to the right side and then keeping the head in that position, lift it up and then turn back when you are coming down. So you turn the head, rotate it to the right side, lift it up. As you come back, turn the rotation back, bring your head back to rest on the back of your palm. So three times rotating to one side and then three times rotating to the other side. Rotate, rotate first, rotate first. Rotate and then lift up. Yeah, rotate the head and then lift up. Rotate the head and then lift up. Very good. Very good. Rotate the head. Ayer, rotate the head. No. Correct. Three times and then slowly come back. Feel the effect on the lower back. What is happening at the lower back? Can you sense? Can you feel any muscles moving?
And when you have completed three rounds, slowly come back and rest, and then repeat on the other side. Slowly come back. Second round on the left side. Last round. Once you've completed, we'll incorporate the leg movement into this. So as you're raising your head up, you'll raise your right leg up. As you're raising your head up, you'll raise your right leg up. This time no rotation, only straight, yeah. No rotation of the head, only straight head up. Come back to rest your forehead on the back of your palm. Very slowly come back. Chant. Keep chanting. Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi. See how many times you are chanting to raise your head up. Chant more than that to bring your head back to rest. Synchronize that movement. Second round. Slowly return back. And last. Last round. Slowly return back. Take your time. Keep chanting so that you have some count. Pay attention to your lower back as you are practicing. And when you have completed three rounds, you will now raise the left leg along with your head. Slowly return. Second round, very slowly. Keep chanting, keep chanting. Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Swaha. 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 Once you have completed three rounds, rest for some time. And then you will raise your head, raise both the legs up. After you have completed three rounds, after you have rested adequately, then you will raise your head along with both the legs. Rest for some time before you initiate the last move. Allow the experience to completely sink in before you start raising both the legs and your head up. Slowly raise both your legs up and your head up. Keep chanting to keep a count. Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Swaha. 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 Om Gum Shrim Mahalakshmi Swaha.
Once you've completed three rounds, wait for some time. And now, <laughs> the last move for the day, you're going to lie on your side. So my left side is at the bottom, right side is on top. My legs are bent. And now, I'm going to incorporate a complete shoulder rotation. So the shoulder joint is supposed to give you a complete 360 degrees rotation. So you'll raise it and then try to bring it all the way into a complete circle. Now, along with this, we're going to try and move our hip joint. So as you raise your hand, raise your leg, as you take the hand forward, move your leg towards your chest. As you take the hand behind, take the leg behind, and then bring the leg and the hand back to the starting position. Okay? So start. Very slowly, keep both the hands stretched in front of you if you can. If you cannot keep one hand bent, whichever way you are comfortable, be in your zone of comfort. The top hand will rotate along with the top leg. Start. Breathing in as you start moving your head, hand towards the head, move the leg. Turn to the other side, keeping the hand moving in a circle. And then bring the knees back to the starting position as your head, hand rotates completely and comes back to the starting position. Wait for some time and then the second round. Hands in front of you, in front of your face, not over your head. In front of your face, yeah. Straight in front, at the shoulder line. At the shoulder line, correct, yeah. Start. Correct. Perfect. Let the leg also rotate completely. Let the leg also rotate completely. Third round, very slowly. And once you have completed three rounds, you'll lie on the back before you turn to the other side. And as you lie on your back, once again pay attention to various parts of the body touching the ground and see any changes and any differences between the right side and the left side. Sense as much as you can. Even very minute changes try to gauge. And when you're ready, then turn to the other side. Now your left hand is on top. As you start rotating your left hand, rotate your left knee as well at the left hip joint. Very good. Very good. Second round. Keep chanting, Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Ayi Swaha, 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 wait, last round, Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Ayi Swaha, Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Ayi Swaha, Om Gum Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. 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 And then lie on your back. Once again, experience changes you can. And then, once you have spent a little bit of time experiencing your own self, turn to one side and very slowly sit up.
get ready to chant mantra om three times make your sankalpa i'm chanting om creating protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences antibodies and viruses take a deep breath in mo second round uh सतो मद्गमय तमसो मोतिर्गमय मृत्युर्मा मृत गमय स्वस्तिर्भवतु शातिर्भवतु पूर्ण मंगल लोगास्तायंबक यजागे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव बंदना मृत्युर्मुक्षीयृता शांति 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 rub your hands nicely when they are really warm then keep them on your eyes feel the warmth flowing in from the palm into the eyes gently open your eyes be observant of colors you see when you open the eyes then slowly release your hands hari om tat sat hari om tat sat hari om tat sat so have a great week See you all on Thursday for lesson eleven, full lesson. Bye.